Let us join together in prayer. Dear God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, and this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you know that the best-known neighborhood in America cannot be found on a map? For over 30 years on television and even today on the Internet, children have used their imaginations to ride a red trolley to the home of their wise and thoughtful television neighbor, Mr. Rogers. From 1968 until 2001, Fred Rogers beautifully blended music, puppetry, and relaxed conversation to explore our often turbulent world and inner feelings. In fact, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is one of the longest-running programs on public television. The bond of trust between Rogers and his neighbors was built on a comforting message that he offered to each child. You are special, and I accept you just the way you are. There's a universal truth I have found in my work, Rogers once said. Everybody longs to be loved. And the greatest thing we can do is let somebody know that they are loved and that they are capable of loving. Wouldn't it be wonderful? If we could hear those words, think those thoughts about ourselves every single day. You are special. You are loved just the way you are. I say that because so often it seems as if the messages that we hear, the feelings that run through our hearts and minds are not so positive. Just turn on the news or listen to talk radio and all we hear is negativity, angry words, violent words, political blather that continually points fingers at the opposition when the people of our nation cry out for understanding and compromise. Take a moment to listen to the conversations that so often take place in our families where problems and challenges are met with criticism rather than positive solutions and differences of opinion are met with hostility, isolation, and ostracism. Take a moment to reflect upon the internal tape that runs through our own minds that time and again minimizes our talents, rebukes our failures, questions our successes, and limits our potential. Wouldn't it be wonderful if for just a little while we could all live in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood and hear his precious words, think those positive thoughts about ourselves. You are special. You are loved just the way you are. Well, the reality is we don't live in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. But we do live in God's. Our scripture lesson this morning from the Gospel of Luke shares a signature moment in the life of Jesus, for it speaks of his baptism. And there are a couple of things that I want you to notice in this passage that we all need to understand and accept. The first is that when Jesus came upon a bunch of folk who had been broken by the wear and tear of this selfish world and had all but given up on themselves and God, when he came upon folk who were seeking a new beginning through baptism and a return to God, he got in line. Jesus joined them and identified with the damaged and broken people who so desperately needed to have hope in their hearts. And when Jesus came out of that water, as you've heard, he knelt in prayer and he heard God's voice God's word, Mr. Rogers' word, you are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. 
Or to put it another way, in the words of Eugene Peterson, as translated and interpreted in the message, you are my child, chosen and marked by my love, pride of my life. <coughs> my friends, through the grace of the living Christ, those words of love are meant for you, to each and every one of us, in our moments of struggle and challenge, through our days of depression and mental anguish, in our times when we feel damaged and broken by the world and just don't know where to turn, what's coming next, or which way is up. God calls out to you. You are my child, chosen and marked by my love, pride of my life. You are special. You are loved just the way you are. And when we can hear those words, when we can believe those precious words, then we can begin to look up again. We can shake off our disappointments, make the changes we need to make to find wholeness again. Find a new place where we can allow our spirits to soar and be our best selves. Turn off the tape that runs through our minds and our hearts, dragging us down, and replace it with the words of God. You are my child, chosen and marked by my love, pride of my life. You are special. You are loved just the way you are. A college professor had his sociology class go into the Baltimore slums to get case histories of 200 young boys. They were asked to write an evaluation of each boy's future. And in every case, the students wrote, he hasn't got a chance. 25 years later, another sociology professor came upon the earlier study. And he had his students follow up on the project to see what had happened to these boys. With the exception of 20 boys who had moved away or died, the students learned that 176 of the remaining 180 had achieved more than ordinary success as lawyers, doctors, and businessmen. And the professor was astounded, decided to pursue it further. Fortunately, all those men were still in the area, and he was able to ask each one, how do you account for your success? And in each case, the reply came with feeling. There was a teacher. Well, the teacher was still alive. So he sought her out and asked the elderly but still alert lady what magic formula she had used to pull these boys out of the slums and into successful achievement. The teacher's eyes sparkled and her lips broke into a gentle grin. It's very simple, she said. I loved those boys. Everybody longs to be loved. And the greatest thing we can do is let somebody know that they are loved and that they are capable of loving. Tell someone you love them. Tell them now. Tell them today. It may be the one thing that will make a difference in their lives. And while you're at it, Remember with every fiber of your being that you are loved too. For you are, you are God's beloved.